Firefighters today swarmed a Manhattan construction site after several workers were exposed to carbon monoxide. It led to some risky rescues. CBS 2's Rena Roy live now in Kipps Bay with the latest. Rena. Well, Maurice and Christine, it was just another Tuesday on the job for all the workers here at this site when suddenly they started to feel dizzy and started to feel sick. Before they knew it, they were being hoisted into the air, then rushed to the hospital. The ropes carefully tied, a worker securely strapped in, as more than a dozen special operations firefighters worked swiftly, lifting him to safety from an underground construction site. First responders calling for backup on their radios. This is all ahead. Right now, we have two workers that uh, need to be uh, rescued. Ladder 7 is setting up. Rescue. A second rescued shortly after rushed off on a stretcher wearing an oxygen mask after nine workers inhaled carbon monoxide and began feeling sick around 430 in the afternoon on East 29th Street between Madison Avenue and Park Avenue South. It was just nonstop fire truck after fire truck police car. We connect some ropes and uh, uh, you know some hardware to that and we're able to put the uh, patients in a basket and haul them up. Fire officials say the carbon monoxide Oxide leak came from a gas powered generator in a basement on site where they were preparing to pour concrete. You're not supposed to be using generator, uh, gas powered generators indoors, below grade. And they're supposed to be outside in a well ventilated area. The Department of Buildings tells us there were, in fact, two of those in the basement. The agency has now issued a full stop work order slapping the site's contractor and management team with several violations for failing to keep things safe. Poor construction workers, they, they came to work not knowing what's going to happen to them. And the city agency issued a permit for the residential building construction here at this site back in September and just inspected it a few weeks ago but found no problems. As for the workers, they are all expected to be okay. We're live in Kipps Bay tonight. Rena Roy, CBS 2 News.